Hey friends, this is a collaboration with me and Nails by Nelly for Breast Cancer Awareness. Stay tuned. Okay, so like I was saying, this is a collaboration for Breast Cancer Awareness. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And yes, we are a little late, but me and Nels by Nelly are making this video for awareness. As I show you everything that I'll be using in this video, I need you to pay attention to the bottom left of the screen. Everything will be linked down below, but I want you guys to see how talented Nelly really is. Like, look at this. It's so amazing. She's so gifted. She's so artistic. She always has these great ideas. This is her YouTube channel. I need you to head over, check it out, like, comment, and subscribe. And just show her some love because she's so, so, so good at what she does. She dabbles in a little bit of everything, but her nail art is fire, guys. This right here is her Instagram. Make sure you go over there and also show some love. In the comments, you can let her know that I sent you. Okay, so as we scroll through her Insta, just all I'm doing on my end is adding some tips to the little fake hand, the silicone hand that I have. It is a little bit difficult for me, but hey, she will also be linked down below. I'll get used to her. So... I did want to shout out um, her awareness set. Like, look at the talent, right? She is so good at XXL nails, like the length. Look at these. I also want to shout out some of my favorites because the girl is so talented. I promise if you follow her, you will not be disappointed. All right, so now I have all of the nail tips attached. I'm going in and lightly buffing. With that, I am going to be popping some breast cancer awareness tips and just some things that you may not know. This right here is so important. If you need to stop and pause the video so you can give yourself exams, you need to know how to do this. All ladies should be doing this. Breast cancer, something that we don't want to play with. How you already saw, one in eight women will get breast cancer. It's so unfortunate. Now this right here is also very sad. Every two minutes, someone's diagnosed with breast cancer. And every 13 minutes, someone in the U.S. dies of breast cancer. Please, ladies, make sure that you are giving yourself your monthly breast exams in the shower make sure that you're speaking with your doctor and that you're informed this is something that we have to be on top of so that snippet did show that there are a couple of things you can do to be preventative obviously if you have a family history you definitely need to be speaking to your doctor you need to be on top of it again it's not something we want to play with exercising regularly does help reduce the risk not smoking reducing alcohol intake and then also just again those exams that you have to give yourself you have to be on top of that guys please 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 save the tatas okay as you saw i have added different color poly gels to different parts of the nail and i'm just blending everything together kind of a marble not really just some different shades of pink i want it to be a little bit different with this so smooth it out get it to how you like it and again poly gel is so soft this really doesn't have to be perfect because you can easily smooth it out with a hand file I love my little Kira Skylight. You guys know that. All right. So notice I am using different poly gels. The Model 1s for me is always a little bit softer than the others. I did notice that um, the Ohuhu is a little more firm. And that is kind of reminiscent to me of like Jershin. But not as stiff. But definitely not as soft as Model 1s. I have to say this is my first time using the silicone hand. And I did actually really like the way Model 1s did not heat up while I was doing this because if I had done this on myself, it would have been running all over the place. Poly gel does tend to get softer as it starts to warm. So this hand did give me some saving grace, but hey, I'll get better as I go. Again, the silicone thing um, I thought was going to be super, super easy, but actually it wasn't for me. And I guess I need to really find a way to make these nails stay in the nail bed a little bit better if you have tips and tricks drop them down below i'm listening and i'm waiting and i can't wait to try them all right here i'm going in with like a little ombre technique and really all i do is press out the white first and i try to blend the pink over the top of the white with that being said if there's not enough white when you're done i always like to go in with a little bit of white polish just to make the tip of the nail pop. 
If at any point you realize that you need more poly gel, you can always go over the top like I just did. So don't be afraid guys, if you're a beginner, I'm still learning. Um, I would say I'm definitely a beginner, absolutely not a pro. But there's very little that you can do with poly gel that you can't fix. And if all else fails, girl, throw it away and start a new set. Just enjoy the process, it's about fun. So here I'm going into my thumb and I do want you guys to make sure that you're following closely to the cuticle line. That is important and with poly gel it's so easy to get closer to your cuticle line and it's easy to clean up because again, you can do everything with a hand file. So the closer you get it to your cuticle, the less cleanup you're going to have to do. Don't mind the nails I have on my fingers. They are low budget press ones that I bought at CVS. But your girl has been, you know, not doing nails for a minute. So, yeah, it is what it is. I know they look a little crusty and dusty. I did want to still jump on and do this collaboration. Anyways, so check it out. I did just file the nails. Now I'm getting ready to go in with some clear polish. We're cleaning all the dust off of them first. And we're about to start the design process. As you can see, I am just placing a little bit of the base coat down on my tray and I'm pulling a thin line with a striping brush and then I'm gonna powder the glitter over the top of that. And you can go back in and clean this up. You will actually see that. These lines did not turn out as straight as I thought they were going to at the end, but hey. So see, you just toss some glitter on it. It's wet. After you clean some of the glitter off, you wanna go in with a smaller brush that has your slip on it or your alcohol. I use alcohol. And at that point, you can actually manipulate these lines. See, you just push them back to get them as straight as you want. Very, very easy cleanup technique. Although these lines did not end up turning out as straight as I wanted after the clear poly gel went on, but hey. All right, so here you see this is actually part of the design that I did strategically. I'm gonna be building a bow into this. So I just paint the tip of the nail pink with my lavender, my lavender violets, violet lavenders, one of those. It'll be linked down below. I paint the tip pink and then I go in with clear polish over the top, base, and now I am adding my rhinestones to create a bow. I absolutely love the way that this turned out. I thought it was so cute and super, super fun. I don't know, I was just sitting there and a little idea popped in my head, so hey, I went with it. Now you see me going in with my clear Rosalind poly gel. Now, you guys know I use base coat and clear poly gel for bling adhesion. And yeah, is adhesion a word? Anyways, that's what I use to make them stick. You guys can use your um, gel bling, glue, whatever stuff, but that's what I use and it has not failed me yet. It's cheaper for me and it's what I have on hand. All right, so we're adding some butterflies just to give this a little bit more pop. Also butterflies to me represent life and I think anyone that's dealing with breast cancer is definitely going through a journey and hopefully these people will be you know, healed Either way, it is a journey, and I hope life springs from it. That's why I opted to use the butterflies. Here I'm just blinging out that finger, and now I am on to adding um, a heart and a couple of more rhinestones, you guys will see. And the set is almost done, y'all. All right, so the final reveal is almost upon us. I want you guys to remember to go check out Nails by Nelly on YouTube and hit her up on Instagram as well. Let her know that my agenda sent you. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this set. I hope you guys, you know, whatever you're dealing with, that you're remaining in love, that you're sharing love. Be kind always. Thank you guys so much for being here. Share love always. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.